and welcome. Hey folks, thanks so much for dropping into this video. It's only going to be a short one tonight. Uh, this is the Helium Down Under channel. My name is Ian. This channel is focused on Helium, the Internet of Things, with a true flavor and focus on the AU915 frequency band. And that covers the big, beautiful land of Australia and across the ditch into our friends in New Zealand. Uh, this call is to do, provide a quick up update on the Lynx.hotspot. That is the hotspot that Australia will most likely have the opportunity to purchase and have in our hands very soon. Of course, many of us are still waiting for hotspots from other vendors like Syncrobit and Rack and Nebra, but we're looking for that injection of, of new hotspots to our uh, to our IoT map here in Australia, to the People's Network, and Linksdot have uh, have really taken a hold of Australia and developed a bit of a, a bit of a, a friendship, if you like, with uh, with the, those of us down under, and have a real keen desire to see Linksdot uh, hotspots across our map. So let's just uh, take a bit of a look at what is uh, what is happening, and for the purpose of this call tonight, why uh, why in fact uh, I felt the urge or need to to do a a quick video update. Here we are. I don't know if you can read the screen here, but this is all about essentially when will those invitations to purchase emails be going out? Because Linksdot, unlike the other vendors that have released recently, uh, Linksdot will not be opening their orders to everybody because they only have a very limited number of units. They have approximately 1,000 units available uh, to manufacture and ship within what they're classifying as batch one. Batch one will be out the door and sitting in people's hands in approximately one month's time. Uh, but right now that batch of units is obviously in very high demand. Linksdot has got a, a wait list on their website. And for those that were lucky enough to be early adopters and place their name on that wait list, you will potentially be receiving an invitation to purchase a single Linksdot hotspot today. Because here on their Discord, it says uh, we have set it for 3 p.m. UK time tomorrow. And this will be when the first batch of people will be invited. So if we have a look at our time zone here for 3 PM. That is going to be midnight our time here in Brisbane. So if you're a bit of a night owl tonight, uh, maybe you might want to stay up and wait for to see if you get that email from Linksdot. It won't be going out to everybody. I'm not entirely sure how many numbers they're going to be sending out. I don't anticipate that it will be a full 1,000, but potentially they will. I don't know exactly know how the rollout will be, but they will be sending a batch of emails out, uh, starting with the first person to register on their wait list and then working down the list until basically they reach the number that they're happy for in the uh, batch one emails. Now, if that does happen to contain somebody from Australia, guys, the, the unfortunate thing right now for us is that if you've been watching the videos uh, recently, you'll know that we've been waiting for the RSM certification to come through. That's the certification to run the, uh, to run the links.hotspots on the AU915 frequency band. Unfortunately, that certification has not come through yet. Uh, so consequently, uh, is that Linksdot cannot ship to Australia until that certification is in place. But here's the exciting things and the great news for us. If we take some sort of a, a golden bit out of that bad news is the fact that uh, Linksdot are so keen to embrace Australia and to have us as a loyal customer base uh, to really make Linksdot one of our primary vendors, if you like, for Helium hotspots is and they are so close to actually having that certification complete that they will be holding a percentage of their first batch of units specifically for the uh, Australian New Zealand market or the AU915. So if you are in that first batch that will receive an order tonight, you won't be able to finalize your order this evening. But I'm imagining that uh, that if you are in that first batch that you'll be able to go through the moment you select Australia, it will essentially slot your name into a into a preferential list for that sub uh, batch that is released to Australia when uh, that final certification is released. So remember, midnight tonight is when the invitation will be sent out. That's midnight time Brisbane time. So if you're over in Adelaide, I think you guys are 
uh, two hours behind us. So it's probably only 10 p.m. there. And if you're in WA in Perth, well, goodness me, it's probably just after dinner time. At, I think it's 8 p.m. It could be 9, whatever it is. <laughs> but you can figure it out. So it is uh, midnight Australian Eastern Standard Time tonight is when those emails will roll out the door. That is the invitation to purchase a Lynx.hotspot. You're limited to only one hotspot. Uh, and uh, the cost of those units is £399 shipped to your door. So that converts to approximately $750 Australian. Now, that does not cover any duty. Uh, what will probably be the case, especially since you can only order one hotspot in your first order, is that there won't be any duty payable on that purchase because it's underneath the, under the radar and essentially it sort of sails through the system. But always be prepared to pay a duty if that is required. A delivery time approximately four weeks after the orders are taken. So uh, given the fact that it's the start of August right now, uh, I would anticipate that they'll be in the hands of the owners uh, in the first week or two of September. It's going to be a very exciting time indeed. So that is the uh, the Lynx dot hotspot folks. They are live as of tonight, uh, midnight time Brisbane or 3 p.m. is the time in London. So uh, look out for your email guys and look out for uh, more videos from Helion Down Under. Uh, very soon. In fact, as a result of some of the recent Facebook communications and also conversations and comments on the YouTube videos, which incidentally are always very welcome, and I'll do my very best to answer as many as I can. And in fact, many of the community members are actually taking up the baton and answering questions uh, that are on my videos as well. Uh, look, somebody will try and answer them if we possibly can. Uh, but uh, there has been some discussion on use cases uh, I and also power over Ethernet because, you know, some people sort of said, okay, power over Ethernet, what is that? How does it work? We'll have a bit of a, an explanation video coming up very shortly on power over Ethernet, PoE, and also uh, some potential use cases of the Internet of Things in general, uh, which obviously translated is these are the things that uh, Helium could be utilized for. We'll run through some of the use cases that are currently in use over in, in the US where they have a good network. Uh, and those that are over there will probably translate into the Australian market as well, uh, given a bit of time. But that's all coming up in future videos. So guys, only a short one tonight. Links dot opening midnight tonight, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Look out for your email and look out for the next video uh, here on Helium Down Under. Catch you later.